points to the light I saw earlier, far out in the fence. They've drowned her under the black snag, she says. I will show you. She takes my hand before I realize what she's doing and pulls me through the rushes and reeds, the mud squishing awfully under my bare feet. But it doesn't seem to bother her at all. She stops when we're at the edge of some open water. Watch now, she says. She takes something from the pocket of her apron and tosses it into the water. It's like a small stone or a pebble or something, and it enters the water without a sound, without making a ripple. Then the water starts to glow and a picture forms in the dim, flickering light. It's like we have a bird's eye view of the fence for a moment. Then the focus comes in sharp on the edge of a big still pool, sentried by a huge dead willow. I don't know how I know it because the light's still poor, but the mud's black around its shore. It almost swallows the pale wan glow coming up from out of the water. Drowning, the old woman says. The moon is drowning. I look down at the image that's formed on the surface and I see a woman floating there. Her hair is all spread out from her, drifting in the water like lily roots. There's a great big stone on top of her torso, so she's really only visible from the breasts up. Her shoulders are slightly sloped, neck slender with a swan's curve, but not so long. Her face is in repose as though she's sleeping, but she's underwater, so I know she's dead. I'm just about played out when suddenly I come up upon this tall rock under the biggest crack willow I've seen so far. The tree's dead drooping leafless branches into the still water around the stone. The stone rises out of the water at a slant. The mud's all really black underfoot. The marshes, if anything, even quieter here. Expectant almost. And I get the feeling like something, some things are closing in all around me. I start to walk across the dark mud to the other side of the rock until I hit a certain vantage point. I stop when I can see that it's shaped like a big strange coffin and I remember what Granny Weather told me. I look for the candle and I see a tiny light flickering at the very top of the black stone, right where it's pushed up and snagged among the dangling branches of the dead willow. It's no brighter than a firefly's glow, but it burns steadily. Eventually, I move sideways towards it, always keeping it in the corner of my eye.
closer I get, the brighter it starts to glow Until I'm standing hip deep in the cold water The mud sucking at my feet And it's all around me, it's dim, eerie, glowing I look down into the water and I see my own face reflected back at me But then I realize that it's not me I'm seeing. It's the drowned woman, the moon trapped under the stone. I look up and there's these things all around the edge of the pool. Quicks and bogles and small monsters, all eyes and teeth thinly black limbs, crooked hands with too many joints to the fingers. The tree is full of crows and their cawing adds to the mocking hubbub of sound.